Hey hi friends welcome to today's video so today we are going to discuss one of the important questions which is generally asked in the interview is like what is KVC and what is KVO so we'll try to understand both in a very simple example and in a very simple language that you know, we all can understand and you know, keep it in our mind so if I just read the definition of KVC so KVC stands for key value coding so it is a mechanism for accessing an object's properties indirectly so generally how you access the properties we access the class properties using the property name. So instead of accessing it directly, we access it indirectly using strings to identify properties rather than through invocation of an accessor method or accessing them directly through instance variables. Okay. So in simple language, I can tell that you know, in key value coding, instead of accessing the properties directly, we access the properties through their key value. Like we access the properties like a dictionary, how you access in dictionary using keys. So let's create a class to understand more about it. So person and here I have a property, let's say name. Okay. And I write init method name colon a string. I'll simply do self dot name equals to name. So this is the way a simple I have created a model class okay now if I have to create an object what I will do name or not name where person equals to person and then name will pass my name okay now if you write person dot name so this is the way how you can access the person dot name correct so if I have to print it let's say print name through direct access and here I have just printed my name okay as simple as it is so this is the general approach that what we generally use but this is not KVC now how we can access the same through KVC okay let's make it lit so that this warning is go, go away and now understand KVC so KVC C stand for key value coding means instead of accessing the properties directly we access them through the keys now if I write here person dot value for key we don't get we are using KVC in our uh, normal use case also like when we use uh, user defaults so we write value for key correct so this is basically we are accessing through KVC approach for so the key value coding but right now I'm not getting this value for key for this class like when I write person dot value for key I'm not getting this now to make it work what we have to do we have to confirm our class to NS object that's the first thing let's try still it's working so person dot value for key now we are getting this value for key now let's say here I'm passing the key as name okay and I'm storing it as a name now I'll, let's print both the thing so here name through KVC key value called coding and I'll just print the name here okay now let's run this and see the output if we get properly in both the cases but if you see it is Crashing and stating that the, this class is not key value coding for the key name. So just making this as an S object doesn't work. What we have to do that this basically key value coding this all are objective C level API. So we have to confirm that this particular variable confirms to objective C level API. And then one more thing that is a dynamic. Objective at the rate objective C means this keyword that we want our Swift code to be visible from the Objective-C level API. Okay. And what does the dynamic means? So dynamic means that we want to use Objective-C dynamic dispatch method. Okay. Now let's run it, run it again and see that this time it works or it still gives the error. Now this time if you see I'm getting the value but it is printing as optional list and the reason is obvious. You might have seen in, when using the user defaults that this return a property of type any so you can do a simple type casting here and I want I know that this is of a string type 
and if I print it again, it will work perfect. I'll get nilis in both the case. Okay. Now, what is KVO? So KVO stands for that key value observing. Now in KVO, we observe the change in the value of the properties. Okay. So let's say that if somebody changed this right now, let's say that I write name person dot name equals to app developer. Okay. Now the moment I write this, I want to listen to this particular chain. Now there are multiple ways like in Swift, we have will say, did say this property also we can use. Okay. Or even if you're using combine, then also we can use through the new combine framework. But let's try to do this through the key value observer. Okay. So here now comes the concept of KVU. Now you'll understand that how the KVC and KVU both are actually different. So here I'll write person dot observe and the key path. Now key path is like for which property you want to observe. Like a class can have multiple properties. Let's say that here I have one more property like country. A string and let's say that I just hard coding the value for time being so safe dot country equals to India now I don't want to listen that when the country changes something should be notified I just I'm you no know, like I'm worried about my name property only so here the key path you want to listen for which property change okay so here I can give slash dot name and then the options we can give like we are we want for two things like old value and then what's the new value for that and in the chain handler person and then this is a value now let's print the content of it so kvo observing old value and here i'm printing value dot old value and again if you see the type of old value it's a string okay now here because our variable is what we are listening is a string and then we have the new value okay now let's run this so see i'm observing here and then i'm changing the names so ideally it should work like how we do in the notification you observe it and then you uh, post the notification and then whichever the class which is observing it so there it is getting caught so that is also an example we can say now if you see here it didn't get caught okay i'm even i change the name let's change it through one more way like person dot set value for key so we can write like here ios and then key is name even if i do with this approach let's see if this gets called or not no no output here so if you want to get this observing work you have to store this value in some reference let's say that i call it late object equals to this until this you store this reference this particular thing is not going to work is this or this anything so let's i just comment this line right now and run it again now you can see the old value was my name nilis and the new value is app developer that you, we are passing if i uncomment this line also and run it again now this time it will get called two times see from nilis to app developer and from app developer to ios so this is what basically kvo so if i sum summarize what to answer what is kvc and what is kvo so kvc is key value coding where we can access the properties using keys instead of accessing directly through the then through the properties name and key gave you stand for key value observing where we observe for a change on the properties okay so that's the difference between kvc and kvu so that's all for uh, today's video i hope you like this video and if you really like this video please don't forget to uh, comment like share and subscribe thank you